Welcome to the advice show, media of the common sense approach. So, as most of you probably heard already, they are talking about putting Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill. And some people are celebrating that. And of course, we know there's a lot of people in this country, especially the black phobics, that have a big issue with this. Now, of course, you know, Fox News is not really going to celebrate this. Uh, There's a problem for them. Well, I want you to hear a short commentary from Greta Van Susteren about putting Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill. Let's go real clip. Don't you wonder why some people don't just use their heads? Well, the Obama administration did it again, went stupid, and went stupid for no reason. Here's what's happening. Treasury Secretary Jack Lew is creating a fight, a 100% completely unnecessary fight, by booting President Andrew Jackson from the $20 bill and replacing him with a woman, abolitionist Harriet Tubman. You all know, I'm a feminist, love to see women acknowledged for the great things they do to contribute to our nation, and Harriet Tubman did, and she deserves it. But what I don't get is this. Rather than dividing the country between those who happen to like the tradition of our currency and want President Andrew Jackson to stay put, and those who want to put a woman on a bill, it's so easy to keep everyone happy. We could put a woman on a bill, Tubman, acknowledge her courage, and not stir up the country, but give Tubman her own bill, like a $25 bill. We could use a $25 bill. Put her picture on that, we could all celebrate. That's the smart and easy thing to do. But no, some people don't think would rather gratuitously stir up conflict in the nation. That is so awful. And yes, dumb. Greta is stupid, huh? Okay. You say they should create a $25 bill. You Ben Carson, you know, he's he a tap dancing black person. He said they should put it on the $2 bill. That's what he had to say. Couldn't put it on the 20 You know, it's two people that I really need to address in this commentary. Of course, first and foremost, uh, it's the black phobics. Um, I was reading a lot of the uh, comments that you, a lot of you were making on Facebook and Twitter about this. You know, some of you was very upset. Uh, some of you were stating that, you know, we're not slaves anymore. Um, you know, we have our freedom. We have affirmative action. Uh, we can vote. We could play basketball. We can do all these different things. Why we always got to stir stuff up. I mean, that's what some of you were saying. And some had some, you know, of course, worse things to say. But this is the thing. The black phobics have been through a lot in the past eight years. The first and foremost, they had to see a black man, black woman, black children, black grandmother and everything else in the White House. Built by slaves, but in the White House. It's been hard for them. They have tried everything possible to get the Obamas removed um, from office. Didn't work. They called this man every name in the book, even though he's more on their side and he is on our side based on a lot of things he have done and just recently said. But that's not good enough for them because they do not accept him uh, in their group. So it's been hard for them. They think Donald Trump is going to be their savior to save their way of being, uh, which is white supremacy. That's what they think. That's what they want to defend. So you you have a slave master on a $20 bill. When you have a president like Andrew Jackson was responsible for the trail of tears. Do your research on what he done to the native Americans. Someone we really shouldn't be celebrating. They are upset about that. Harriet Tubman, not only led slaves to freedom. She did covert missions in the civil war. She was a nurse. She was a great woman. In this country, why can't she be celebrated? But to the black phobic, they don't want to see a black woman on the $20 bill at all. They want to see people look like them. Now, look at how everybody else has to look in this country. All the money we've seen has not been with white men. So what's wrong with a black woman being put on there? I don't see a problem with that. Now, if the black folks do not want their Harriet Tubman 20s uh, because they don't want to see a black woman's face on the money. I would say um, you can donate all your Harriet Tubman's to advise your media. We make sure to do great things with it. Um, if you don't want it, that's all one thing we're saying. We don't want you just to waste it or throw it away. Just put it to good use. If you want, you know, give it to us. We'll do great with it. Okay. Now let's speak to black people. A lot of black people are, are, are happy about this. Don't get too excited about this. This is my thing. Why are they doing this? Why? Why are they trying to pacify us with Harriet Tubman? Yeah, we really have to think about this. Why odd the blue? You just do this. I, everything these people do in this government, you never 
really take it at face value? Or is it because we're becoming more and more conscious now? We're speaking up a lot more now. We're calling out the systems that's in this country now. We're not letting nobody make get a pass too much anymore. It's not getting too comfortable to shoe shine and tap dance anymore because everybody's growing more and more in their consciousness. And maybe you pacify them with Harriet Tubman. And they were like, oh, you know, and, and think it's going back to what we some people thought post racial America because President Obama. No, if you really want to start uh, discussing something about money, then let's go ahead and start set the table and start discussing reparations. And a lot of these people get mad about that. We talking about most of these people either black phobics or they sympathize with the black phobics. But you got to understand, slavery was legal, Jim Crow was legal, um, the war on drugs, which definitely is against us, was legal. Uh, the black codes are legal. All these different things that were legal underneath the government, they never paid any kind of restitution for. And you can find a lot of people who've been through all those things that I have stated. Now, you may not find a slave anymore, but everything else was still law. The black codes were law. Jim Crow was law. Segregation was law. And nobody has paid anything for it. But when other people come over here, they get reparations all the time. It's been proven. So this is the thing. Let's not get too pacified. We'll keep our Harriet Tubman 20s great. We'll be happy with that, but don't get pacified. Let's continue the conversation about reparations because the black phobics, you know, they just having a fit. They really having a fit uh, with this situation. I mean, I'm, I'm think it's funny. I really think it's funny because I think not only Harriet Tubman should be put on their shoot. Maybe they should put Cesar Chavez on the, on the dollar. That's cool. I mean, he does a great things. For people, for farm workers, or they probably really have a connection fit. They see Cesar Chavez get put on there. Uh, but I think people of all uh, nationalities who've done great things in this country should be put on the money. Why not? I mean, I don't really have an issue with it. But if you're a black phobic, you do because you want to keep the institution of white supremacy. But they don't understand that's dying off and the true melting pot of America is rising in this place. I know you don't like to hear that. But it is what it is. Make sure you check out the description box to our studio. We're building this one campaign. We're building a TV ready studio, but we need your help. Uh, please donate. If you like to do it privately, you can do it on advisor.com. Now, if you're wondering about the background, uh, it was given to us by timelessbackdrops.com. Uh, they helped us out with it. It's the uh, city of Houston, like we like to always put in our background. If you like one, check it out. Go to the website that we have up on the screen. Hit me up in the comments, shoot the commentaries, subscribe.